Hello everyone. I am Dr. Nivedita Chakravarti. This is a case of a 64 years old female who presented with right leg swelling since 18 months. AP and lateral radiographs of the right leg were done. These radiographs show that there is a well defined lobulated sclerotic lesion adjacent to the right mid tibial diaphysis as shown by the red arrow. This lesion shows dense sclerosis centrally as well as peripherally along with an adjacent cortical thickening as shown by the yellow arrow. Now there is no cortical destruction or periosteal reaction which indicates that this lesion arises from the outer periosteal layer of the tibial diaphysis and not from the cortex per se. With these imaging features, we come to a diagnosis of parosteal osteosarcoma. Now, why is this not a case of myositis ossificans which happens to be its closest differential? Now, there are two findings which point against the diagnosis of myositis ossificans. Firstly, in the late stage of myositis ossificans, there is denser calcification peripherally compared to centrally, which is not so in this case. And also in myositis ossificans, there is no associated cortical thickening. So, with the diagnosis of parosteal osteosarcoma, we performed an MRI for this patient to know the status of marrow involvement neurovascular bundle involvement and the extent. On this axial T1 weighted image, we see that this lesion is hypointense with intact adjacent cortex, suggesting that this lesion arises from the outer periosteal layer of the tibial diaphysis. On axial T2 weighted image also, this lesion is hypointense with intact cortex and there is no obvious adjacent marrow involvement. Now, had this been myositis ossificans, the lesion would have shown the appearance of a normal marrow with central T2 intermediate to hyperintense signal that of marrow and peripheral hypointensity with that of cortex. On this stir coronal image also this lesion is hypointense with surrounding soft tissue edema showing hyperintensity. There is no obvious marrow involvement and the joints are also normal. On this GRE image also, this lesion is hypointense and we can see that the neurovascular bundles are well preserved. On this axial post contrast image, there is peripheral enhancement. So, our diagnosis is right mid tibial diaphyseal parosteal osteosarcoma and this was confirmed on histopathology. So, what are the take home messages? In parosteal osteosarcoma, there is dense sclerosis centrally as well as peripherally with associated cortical thickening. There is no periosteal reaction or cortical destruction as such. Whereas in myositis ossificans, there is denser calcification peripherally than centrally without any cortical thickening or destruction. And just to mention over here, in periosteal osteosarcoma, there is associated periosteal reaction and cortical thinning or destruction because periosteal osteosarcoma arises from the inner layer of the periosteum which is closer to the cortex. Thank you.